Welcome back to the Roadside Rescue YouTube channel. I'm Ernest and this morning we have uh, pretty much an emergency call out. Not stuck on the side of the road emergency, but um, this person is the daughter of a friend of my mom's who um, is from back home. She lives out here. I think she's going to school and working, but her last year her car broke down or something. I know they worked on the AC system, so it probably didn't break down. Um, at a different shop across town. Well, now she says that it's overheating and has some problems. So she took it back up there, uh, about 30 minutes north to that other shop to see if it was a related issue, if they would warranty it. And apparently she needs a new radiator. So it was diagnosed by that shop. They took it to another shop because the first shop gave them a, a really, really high quote. Uh, the second shop gave them less of a drastic number, but uh, still pretty expensive. And so, her mom got a hold of my mom and they contacted me and I gave them a much better quote. So we're going to replace a radiator for her this morning. Uh, should be pretty fun. Hopefully simple. I have not done one on a uh, 2007 Hyundai Tucson, but I've got the radiator ordered and we'll go over there and figure it out. So I haven't done much research, but we can pull up some data if we need it. So we'll hop over here and grab the radiator. I've got some coolant in stock still, so no need to worry about that. And then she actually works uh, pretty close to the auto parts store over here. So we'll pick that up and then we'll get her radiator replaced for her. So here we go. All right, so here we go. We're about to take off and grab that part. Um, just something that came to mind real quick is uh, I've been trying to answer everybody's comments. I can't answer them all anymore. There's just too many of them. Uh, I just don't have the, enough time to answer them. So I'm, I'm trying to at least like them or heart them and uh, just know that everybody's appreciated. But if you ask a specific question, in a comment that you need answered. Um, if I if I respond to it once, but it needs a follow-up question, if you respond to it again in that same thread, I won't see it. YouTube puts a filter on all the comments that have already been responded to, they don't pop up. And they also, if I remove that filter, they also don't come back up to the top. They stay way back down where they were. And it's really, really hard for me to find them. So if you have a follow-up question, just leave a new comment and remind me what the first question was or who you are and uh, i'll most likely see it that way so uh just something to think about we'll go grab that part All right, so here's the radiator. Um, I've got some other stuff for some jobs you'll see in a different video. Again, uh, I pretty much buy everything at AutoZone. A lot of people have been asking if I have a commercial account there. I do, you, do, you get a discount depending on how much you buy and they have a really good warranty. So that's why I always go with AutoZone parts. AutoZone, if you wanna sponsor me, you're more than welcome to, but I'm not sponsored by AutoZone. I just really like their stuff. And also, just a side note, I really, really appreciate everybody's comments who's concerned about my safety, like wearing eyeglasses or getting some knee pads and stuff. Just things I don't, I haven't really thought about, you know, working by yourself, you don't see somebody else do it. Um, obviously, I've seen people wear safety glasses. I could have thought about it. I just, you know, sometimes get worried about getting it done and I forget to put them on. And, uh, you know, so I don't have people reminding me there every day, you know, to you know, watch out for this and that. Oh, one thing is I do always use jack stands. I just didn't put an emphasis on them in my older videos when I wasn't getting many views because I didn't think about it. Um, but they are always there. Sometimes you can see them peeking around out from behind the jack or whatever. And there's just one video I think that I've ever uploaded where for half, for just a part of the video, I didn't have jacks in under the car. It was sitting right there, but you can see I forgot to push it under there, which there's no excuses, but there's almost always a jack stand there. But again, I, I appreciate everybody's concern for my safety. Um, I really, really do appreciate it. So continue reminding me if I need a, you know, safety glasses or something like that um you know i want to be safe and it means a lot to me that everybody's concerned about it so so yeah we'll get over there and we'll put this radiator on real quick and uh we'll do it as safely as possible here we go
yeah. <laughs> All right, here we are, roadside rescue. Here's the vehicle. Make sure it's unlocked because she is at work. It's not, so we will have to get her to come out and pop the hood. But I'll go ahead and just get some stuff set up that I know we need while she comes out here to get that. Well, let me just check and make sure this one's not unlocked. Okay. Yeah, we'll have her come out and unlock this and uh, we'll get started. So. All right, I sure hope this comes out all right. I've got the head-mounted camera a lot of people have asked for. Um, I've tried using this when I very first started the YouTube channel, but it seemed to never quite get exactly what I was trying to look at. So hopefully this comes out right. Um, hopefully I can keep it pointed at what I need. So we'll give it a try. Here we go. We got the hood popped here. And here's our radiator, just tucked in right here, so. Never mind, I've got a better idea. I'm gonna do the chest mounted GoPro. That way I can at least see the screen and see if it's pointing at what I'm trying to see. So we'll, we'll put that on. All right, here we go, chest mounted GoPro. We'll see if this gets a little bit better footage that some people have been asking for, just a little bit closer of an angle. So here we go. Somehow I've lost all of my extensions, not all of them, but a lot of them. Okay, we were missing one here anyways. I've got a box of these clips. We'll just replace both. All right, we've got that draining. Okay, these pliers are super nice to get these hose clamps. Uh, the one on the top was particularly difficult to get to. The one on the bottom, I could reach underneath the vehicle with pliers, but since I don't have to, basically you just pull over here and it tightens over here. So gives you a little bit of room to tuck this underneath a hose or whatever. Okay, and that's how it works. You pull here and you loosen that clamp down there. Okay, so we just got both these lines done. I'm gonna go ahead and get that bottom hose off and then we'll pull this radiator out and see if you can see down there. Should be about ready to come out. Condenser, I'm not gonna fit a ratchet back there so I'm gonna go grab a little ratcheting wrench. Okay, 
Yeah, thanks, Steve. We'll see ya. Yep. All right, bye. Bye. All right, so we got all the hoses disconnected down there. And out with the old radiator, so we'll get a new glove because I just ripped this on a hose clamp. Uh, one thing I like to do before I stick the new radiator in is just always double check that they're the exact same size. So we'll pull the new one out of the box, double check here inside of the box it looks the same, but we'll pull it out and just confirm everything's in the right place. Uh, we got all of our little hooks and slots here, um, and then we'll, we'll slide that back in. So the AC condenser in the back just had to slide out of this tab here up, and then I could move it out of the way. So, yep, we'll get the new one in. Okay, here's our new radiator here. They do, in fact, look the exact same. So we'll stick this one in, and I just ripped my brand new glove, so <laughs> that's a bummer. We'll get a new one. Radiators, if you can see that. Those are the exact same, so here we go. And when you get a new radiator or anything, just always double check the fittings because they don't always come all the way tightened down. So you don't want to be driving down the road 30 miles later, realize you're dripping a lot of oil out here through your cooling line. So just double check those, make sure everything's tight to spec. So we'll stick this in here real quick. I almost do this every time. Don't forget your rubber bushings on the bottom if you have them. I think on this one, they're just on the side. Yeah. But a lot of them have them on the bottom, so just don't forget before you put it in there and you'll have to pull it back out. Okay, so in this case, uh, this line, this fitting on the radiator was only a different size because this radiator fits both uh, engine sizes of this vehicle. So you have to switch this hose out, this pressure, this line out, um, depending on which engine you have. So we had to switch it out for the six cylinder so the four cylinder wouldn't. Uh, and that's why you can see, maybe down here if you can see well enough, this was the line that was loose so we'll tighten it back up now with the correct line on it and uh, we're pretty much ready to go back together all right get these 10 millimeter bolts back on Okay, and that's pretty lined up. I just gave this hose just the slightest twist in order to get this hose clamp up around the side. Whereas before it was on the bottom and if you don't have those special pliers, there's no way you could get to it. So that should be fine. We'll get everything going back together now. Just the last few things.
Okay, we've got that last coolant hose on the bottom to put on and then we're ready to fill this up with coolant. And I'm gonna get two little clips for this since that one broke. Okay, here's our clips. Not my favorite pack, but uh, Okay, we'll move this drain plug, drain pan out of the way and we'll get that bottom hose down here. All right, so here we are topped off with coolant. No air in the system. So we'll get our cap. And you always just wanna make sure that your old cap fits your new radiator. This one does just fine. And that's it. This is a job well done. So just double check everything, make sure everything's in place and it all looks good. All right, this is the Roadside Rescue YouTube channel. I'm Ernest. That was a job well done. We just got that radiator replaced. Here's the old one. Nice and old in there. So uh, if you have anything you wanna say, leave it in the comments down below. Again, I'll try and respond to everybody, but uh, I just can't quite leave a comment on everybody's comment anymore. So I'll just heart it if it's something nice. I really appreciate all the support. Thanks again, everybody, for all the support, all the safety tips. Everything people have been saying, uh, I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to enter the giveaway or if you like the content. And we'll see you on the next episode. Thanks again.